telling you. I'm telling you. This salvation is personal. Any church where they don't preach the truth, leave that church. Leave that church. In heaven, there's no church. There's no SCM in heaven. There's no full gospel in heaven. There's no Kali church in heaven. In heaven, your church is your heart. It's, it's your true church. It's here. All this denomination matter is just to help you grow in the things of God. Somebody's life is changing today. You will begin to desire the word of God. Ah, uh, in First Peter 2, verse 2, the Bible says, As newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the word of God. As newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the word. I pray for a desire for the word upon you. We see people coming up with mysteries. I saw one online, a prophet. He has written a book called The Book of Life. Some of you have seen it. A book of life. The book of life we hear that is in heaven and names are written. For, someone have written it on here. A prophet. All kind of jargons in the name of mysteries. One came out called prayer mat. And people were making Allah Akuba. You know Allah Akuba? Huh? I begin to wonder whether we are still Christians or they are turning us into Muslims. As I was traveling from Bamenda to here. I didn't go with my car to Bamenda. I was in a bus and I saw somebody enter a prayer mat and put it on the chair like a phone before he sat on it. I said, This one is witchcraft. They are confusing us. We don't know whether we are Christians or, Christians or Muslims. And if you ask them, show us from the word of God the spiritual implication of this thing, they will not show you anything. You just go on the mountain and say, Kataboom, Kataboom, Kariya, do Shadaba. And the voice will just come, My son, where you go, cocot mats into 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. Make sure you put the logo of the church on it. Anybody that sleep on that mat, miracle healing. And they'll just come give you for 20,000 francs. And because you are desperate for miracle. Some of you, if they can't have they have chopped you. <laughs> some of you that have used it for sadaka, you know, uh, 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 bonanza, they have used you, some of you, they have used you as bonanza. Because you don't know the word of God. But for you like this, most of your money have been lost in those things. You want to gather how many liters of anointing water you have bought by now? It's around four gallons. Am I saying anointing water is bad? No. Do, we, do I not give anointing water here? I give this anointing water there. But it should not be for selling. It should be for gift. And whatever you give to the church or to the man of God, it should be a gift. Not that you are paying for anointing water. That you put the amount, you know. This bottle like this, this new anointed water. This one is twenty-five thousand. Two months after you come another one, River Jordan water, forty-eight thousand. Three weeks later you come with another one. Who are we deceiving? And those of you that don't um, don't know the, I would have been using that to make the money. I'm a popular prophet all over the world. So use that and collect your rentage. 80% of pastors will not see God. Mark the word I'm telling you. 80% will not see this Jesus. They are not ready. I've seen God. I've seen the rapture. They are not ready. Covetousness. And you too, you are foiling it. Because you are ignorant of the word of God. I saw a woman who was naked to be prayed for. A mommy. He said, prophet, that, that, that man of God take me for water. For night, midnight. Naked me, bath me. After that, he take me, go to for graveyard, naked me, pray for me. Imagine a, a mature woman. Somebody's mother will press there, standing and everything there. And a young man in the name of a prophet will naked somebody's mother. Abomination. In fact, that's abomination continent. That's abomination continent. That's not nation. That's abomination continent. I say, Mama, you are resting on a young person like this. But they want to pray for you. This life she was confessing to me. In the graveyard, imagine that you are in the graveyard like that. There was a madman sleeping there, just shake a prayer. 
in the midst of those graves the man of God will leave you. That man of God, so-called man of God will leave you. Stay on the word of God. Even when I am gone to be with God, the word of God will never cease in this house. God will never raise a leader to lead this commission who is not loaded with the word of God. Who is not loaded with the word of God. That's my prayer, Jesus. My labor will not be in vain. It 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 will not be in vain.